The first coaches poll of the 2018 regular season is out, and you'll see Michigan first as one of the big droppers in the poll after their loss to Notre Dame. A lot of questions about Michigan in the really big picture, but let's focus just on this loss. You thought you'd see better quarterback play, and you really didn't. You saw more kind of offensive issues than you'd like to see from Jim Harbaugh and his staff. And then you begin to look ahead at the schedule, and you wonder, did we overrank Michigan? Is this a team that will even end up in the top 25 when you still have to play Ohio State and Wisconsin and Penn State and Michigan State? I don't want one. Michigan clearly one of the big losers from week one in college football. LSU is all the way up to number 15 after beating up on Miami on Sunday night. There are some people who thought before the year that LSU didn't even belong in the top 40. I mean, LSU, I can't make a case for them being top 40. Top 40. Top 40. We'll see how that goes the rest of the way. But in week one, you saw average quarterback play, but a great defense. You saw some strong running. You saw a lot of gambles from Ed Orgeron on the sidelines. LSU is probably better than what a lot of people thought going into the year. But we'll have to see as the weeks go on if they deserve to be in the top 15 or if they're just being overranked for beating a Miami team who in turn might have been overranked. Wisconsin moved up one spot to number six after a kind of humdrum, nothing to see here win against Western Kentucky. But this is what Wisconsin does, right? They play the game against these inferior or equal or better opponents just to win by a point or win by seven points. Beauty doesn't really matter to the Badgers. And what you saw essentially in an early look against an inferior opponent was another great defensive performance, a powerful running game, a really nice performance from quarterback Alex Hornibrook. Essentially from Wisconsin, what you expected to see, you got. If you thought Wisconsin was gonna be legit before the year, so far so good. In our first look at Ohio State without Urban Meyer, who will miss again the next two games until he returns from his suspension, the Buckeyes scored 77 points against Oregon State. Oregon State's terrible. Still, Ohio State came out fired up. The offense was clicking. The defense was dominant. Most impressively, however, it's not that they just won without Meyer. It's that the play of sophomore quarterback Dwayne Haskins should have you stand up and take notice because he was fantastic. And if he is that good the rest of the way, Ohio State could just keep winning with or without Meyer, roll through the Big Ten, get their way into the college football playoff.